Shalom. Welcome back to our channel Sermon TV. Today we are casting out the spirit of Jezebel by watching this video. According to Book of Revelation 2 verse 20. Nevertheless, I have a few things against you, because you allow that woman Jezebel, who calls herself a prophetess, to teach and seduce my servants to commit sexual immorality and eat things sacrificed to idols. Who is Jezebel? A spirit that calls herself a prophetess is called Jezebel. It permits sexual perversion, pornography, and other immoral behavior to exist within the church. As a result, they consume food offered as sacrifice to idols. Consequently, evil spirits can enter. It may be an emotional bond, reliance on another person, marital dissolution, or other things that serve as stand-ins for a relationship with the Lord. In place of genuine adoration of God, people worship idols. According to Ephesians 2 verse 10, For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. Low-level spirits, on the other hand, watch their lives and search for openings to enter. The force that opposes and puts an end to the supernatural is not male or female. Jezebel's job is to draw individuals into perverse relationships and sexual activity while also distracting them from their duty, according to 1 Kings 19 verses 1 to 4. And Ahab told Jezebel all that Elijah had done, also how he had executed all the prophets with the sword. 2. Then Jezebel sent a messenger to Elijah, saying, So let the gods do to me, and more also, if I do not make your life as the life of one of them by tomorrow about this time. 3. And when he saw that, he arose and ran for his life, and went to Beersheba, which belongs to Judah, and left his servant there. 4. But he himself went a day's journey into the wilderness, and came and sat down under a broom tree. And he prayed that he might die, and said, It is enough. Now, Lord, take my life, for I am no better than my father's. Elijah had an assignment to restore worship and he had achieved an important victory. But he succumbed to a witchcraft attack. When Jezebel attacks it is through people who use words empowered by that spirit. He experienced this. The spirit was directed at him. He lost his perspective and his belief that the God of heaven, who had sent him, would stand by him and defend him. He turned away from his task instead of standing up and battling. Although you may be fighting, you may feel defeated in your heart, and instead of showing courage, you retreat because you were hurt by the criticism and the manner you were betrayed. He hid in a cave. The Lord tried to get his attention to get him out of the cave. He sent an earthquake, fire, even a whirlpool, but Elijah did not leave the cave. When he spoke to him with a gentle whisper, Elijah went out and God gave him a new assignment. God has given you an assignment. Break that isolation. How many have faced that isolation? It has happened to me, I had to learn to fight it. You can recognize the attack. Most of the time they come through people who speak under the influence of that spirit and become Jezebel's prophets. Characteristics of Jezebel's spirit 1. People who operate in this spirit come from a home where they have suffered abuse. 2. The person can be very seductive or very fearful. When they are close, they make it look like they have everything under control. 3. To achieve their goals, they manipulate individuals. 
They contact the pastor in order to influence and control people's emotions, not because they seek the pastor's position. Because they are ambitious, every move is aimed towards achieving their goals. Always looking to seduce. Some are outstanding volunteers and servants who pave the route to becoming indispensable. The leader is then gradually criticized, allowing them to realize their importance. They are curious about everything. They are specialists at gathering data. You divulge facts that you shouldn't divulge when you are around them. They appear to understand what they are saying. Because they understand that knowledge is power, they never disclose all the information they have, instead, they give it gradually. 4. When people are conversing, you listen. You'll feel as though helping them is required of you. They frequently voice disapproval or criticism. They sow division, which God detests. They have an objective to lure and exploit man while exalting him. They ruin the entire globe with their language. They dramatize and exaggerate everything. 5. Jezebel's spirit is unable to create leaders. How to overcome the spirit and characters of Jezebel? To be sorry. You must repent if you have compromised your spiritual life, given in to temptation, or ignored your obligations. If you don't change, you won't be able to regain your power. Regain your faith. Allow the Holy Spirit to come in and take up your responsibilities from where you left off. You can refuse to get up when your call comes. To oppose. You must exercise authority in Jesus' name if you want to defeat the Jezebel spirit. Declare, I take authority, I bind all Jezebel spirit, and I stand in my office. In the dominion of the enemy, I command confusion. May Jehovah's light shine. I release the blood of Jesus and seize power. Thank you for joining us on this insightful journey through the spirit of Jezebel. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more enlightening content. May God bless you abundantly on your spiritual journey. Don't forget to check out our other videos and subscribe to our channel Sermon TV for more inspiring content. Thank you for watching, and may you be inspired to live out your faith boldly. Until next time, take care.